a rather frosty start to week four. Uh, given that it is week four, that means the halfway point is fast approaching. But before that, I have got my usual two lectures for first year, that will be for contract and for international law. And then this afternoon, I will have my supervision for land law. So yeah, quite a busy day, and obviously there's a debate on at the union again uh, today. So yeah, let's get going. For contract, we finished off looking at frustration, started looking at breach of a contract, and then for international law, we continued looking at jurisdiction and immunity. Hand over now for my land law supervision, that will be continuing on some of the ideas and some of the specific issues on co ownership, so that should be quite a good supervision. Then afterwards, I'll be heading over to the union uh, where this evening there'll be a debate uh, centered around uh, China and Hong Kong, which should be quite an interesting debate. First of all, the supervision for land law was really useful and really helpful. So we went through how to answer problem questions, for example. Also looked at some of the key cases in relation to co-ownership. And overall, it was just a really good supervision and I got a lot out of it. And it was just a very beneficial supervision. Then afterwards, the debate. So the motion was this house believes that China is the new imperial power in Hong Kong. Very interesting debate, very passionate speakers, very powerful speeches from both sides. I think proposition won in the end, um, but overall it's a really good and very interesting debate. Work will continue tomorrow with two lectures that I've got on and other bits and pieces that I need to be getting on with but I need to now to get, hopefully, a good night's sleep. Heading over to the law faculty to just get on with some preparations for supervisions at the library, and then I'll be attending the two lectures that I've got today. First one starting at 11 o'clock for land, and then this afternoon, one lecture for administrative law. For land law, we continued looking at easements, and then for admin, we are looking at procedural fairness and Article 6 of the European Convention of Human Rights, which is quite interesting. I need to get something uh, to eat now and then I'll be heading over to the Cambridge Union. Uh, as I mentioned in the last vlog, I'm involved with the invitations committee, so I've got this happening again this afternoon. So I'll be doing that and then what, in terms of what's happening after that, not quite sure yet. I've just been at an event at the Cambridge Union to welcome Carmen, who's a human rights activist. Very powerful speech that she gave, very much enjoyed that. Uh, well, actually, I've had to leave a little bit early from that event because I'm heading over to Jesus College. It's, there's a launch night for the John Hughes Arts Festival. My friend Astrid, you might recognise that name, has been helping to organise that so I'm going over to support her. John Hughes Arts Festival launch. There was a variety of different pieces of art, very beautiful pieces of art, quite a lot of them done by students, which was really good. It was just something different, something nice, a, a good way of spending the evening. Very much enjoying myself there. Just been doing some bits and pieces since I got back. Um, weekend obviously is approaching, but I've got plenty of work to be getting on with. I'll catch you in the morning. I think my plan for this morning is to be getting on with some editing, both for the Cambridge Union and for a video that I need to get out uh, for Sunday. And then afterwards, probably need to get on to doing some supervision preparation for international law. Uh, some questions I need to answer for that, something I need to prepare for that. So that's probably going to be my focus, certainly for at least this morning, and probably the priorities for today. Managed to get both the uh, video for the Cambridge Union edited and the vlog that I need to get edited as well. That will be out by the time you see this one. Taking a break now to have something for lunch and also to read uh, this new book for February. It is called Dead of Night. I'm making good progress on it. It's a very interesting book so far. So I'm probably going to do, read a couple more chapters of that and then get on with some work for international law.
I have sent off my problem question to my supervisor for international law which was due in tomorrow I believe and now heading into towns, got things I need to do so I'm just going to use the opportunity uh, to get on with some work in town somewhere probably just find some place to go to one of the things that I need to do is prepare for a presentation that I have to give as part of the international law situation that I've got on Monday. It's been a while since I last recorded and quite a few things have been happening so I went into town but I actually bumped into two of my friends so we hung out for a bit and then I just went to the union to get some work done there and then they had an open mic event on which was basically just different performances by students so there's some comedy, some musical performances as well and that was really good. And then afterwards uh, I went over to Jesus College again and this time they had Footlights, which is like comedic sketches by students and it was really good, very funny. So yeah, quite a busy afternoon slash evening. My priority for today will probably be to make sure that I am ready for the supervision tomorrow that I've got for international law. Just to make sure that I've got everything that I need, make sure I'm ready for the presentation I've got to give. But first of all, I'm heading over to the Cambridge Union for the Sunday papers, which I've certainly enjoyed for the past couple of weeks that it has been on. So after Sunday papers, me and my friend went clothes shopping, which is something I don't do very often, to say the least. But yeah, we went around to the various shops to get a few things in. I just wanted to get some new clothes, or something different uh, in, so I managed to get a few things. Now I need to just get on with some work, which I still need to do, uh, because this evening I am out at Jesus College. More about that in a moment. Here we are again for another formal. For those who watched my last vlog, you know that I went to free dinners slash formals. This one's at Jesus College again. It's all part of the John Hughes Arts Festival that's been on for the past few days. This is a nice formal to end things off. So I'm heading, I'm going to be heading over shortly. I'm actually going with my college mum, which will be nice. Uh, so heading over soon for that. And uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Had a good time at Jesus College at the formal, good food, good company, just an overall good event. After the formal there was jazz and music uh, being played uh, at Jesus Bar and that was quite lovely as well. Yeah, just been an overall good event. Today has been quite busy. I've uh, been, you know, obviously I've been at Sunday Papers, I've been shopping, I have been doing little bits of work and I've been at a formal so it's been quite a busy day quite shut now, probably head off to bed. As well as the lectures that I've got this afternoon, I've got my supervision for international law at Govillain Keys this morning. So, but before that, I need to head to the faculty to make sure I've done all the preparations that I need to do and then print that off ready for that supervision. I've just had my supervision for international law looking at the use of force. Very good supervision. We had our presentations and yeah, that went well as well. Head over now to the faculty because I've got two lectures this afternoon, one for admin and then one for family, but we'll probably getting on with some work whilst I'm there as well. I am back from Sidwick. Uh, two lectures went well. First one for admin continued on looking at procedural fairness. Started looking at the right to notice and the right to a fair hearing. And then for family law, continued on looking at private law and children. And then I just stayed at the faculty at the library for a couple of hours to get on with. First of all, preparing for the mood that got on Saturday, as well as preparing for the family law supervision, just doing some notes for that 
in preparation for the supervision next week. Back now, I'm probably just going to get on with some more supervision preparation, probably for family and for land. And maybe just do one or two bits and pieces as well. I'm mainly focused on land law, getting some note taken done for the supervision that I've got next week, focusing on licenses and proprietary estoppel. Probably gonna go and get a shower uh, soon, but there's something that I need to do before that. So yes, here we are again for another laundry segment, this time an even edition. Got two bags like last week, got quite a lot of clothes to do. So what I'm going to do is put on the cycle and while that's happening, go and get a shower and get myself ready for tomorrow and then collect, hopefully by the time I've done that, come uh, the clothes will be ready and I'll come over and collect those clothes and then head off to bed. I've got my two uh, supervisions that I would usually have on this particular Tuesday. One for contract and then one for admin afterwards. But first of all, I need to head into town to do uh, one or two things there, then probably head into the faculty afterwards. Just been to the faculty to get on with some work for family law. Now heading over to City Sussex College for my supervision for contract law. That will be focusing on misrepresentation. And then afterwards, uh, something I need to collect from the union. And then after that, uh, probably be getting ready for my admin super, that's this afternoon. And that will be focusing on some aspects of procedural fairness. Both supervisions went well. First one for contract, focusing on misrepresentation. Really useful, we did a bit of a presentation to start off with, then went through a PQ and I found that really helpful. And then I've just had uh, my OC vision for admin, focusing on certain aspects of procedural fairness, rules against bias, uh, for example, and that was uh, useful as well. Probably going to go to the faculty, get on with some work. I need to put a, a skeleton together for the mood that I've got on Saturday and then we'll see what happens after that. I've managed to do a first draft of the skeleton that I need to do for Saturday's mood. Probably finish that off tomorrow because the deadline to hand in the skeleton is Thursday at midday. But I've also managed to just get on with some editing for the Cambridge Union. Got a busy day tomorrow with the usual four lectures, so I'll see you in the morning. I think one of the priorities for today will be to make sure that I fully completed the skeleton that I need to submit for the mood that I've got on Saturday. But whilst I need to do that, I've got lectures to attend to. First lecture, as will be normally be the case for Wednesday, is the 9 o'clock lecture for International Law. The lectures have come and gone. Uh, I actually only went to three of my lectures, International Land and Contract. That covered for international finishing off on immunity, for land uh, easements and for contract breach of contract. I didn't go to the fourth one because I ended up going for lunch with a couple of my friends. Uh, we just went to Sydney Sussex College for that and that was quite good and very much needed. I think probably I'm going to head back to Homerton and get on with some work that I need to do, preparing for that mood that I've got on Saturday. Managed to get the skeleton done for the moot on Saturday. Probably just check it in the morning to make sure I've got everything that I need in it before I submit it, because it's got to be submitted by midday Thursday. Also, was able to get some notes done for family law for the super I've got next week. But head down to Sydney's, it's one of the clubs in Cambridge. And I'm going to meet some friends down there. As you can see, I've got this uh, nice new jacket that I got. You know, in this vlog, I've mentioned. I went shopping. This is the uh, result of that shop. Uh, I had to do with a friend, to be honest. I need some help. But, um, you know, just a different style, new style, um, which I like. Uh, so I'm going to head down for that. I'm uh, probably going to end the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to do the usual things. Like the video, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to the channel by clicking the bottom right hand corner. But hit that, that notification bell to keep up to date with any new videos and vlogs that come out. And yeah, hope to see you in the next video.